Morning everyone, today is Monday, January 27th at 8.30 a.m. I'm uh, gonna be doing a free video watch list today. Uh, for those that don't know, I do a free video watch list every single Monday on YouTube, and I provide a uh, video watch list for all the members, usually every day or every other day in MIC. The reason I do this is so that you know we could get a little bit more interactive and maybe you guys could get a look inside my mind and how I prepare for the day every single morning. So before I continue, uh, we're actually running this uh, flash sale. It was supposed to be for 24 hours only, but some people needed some extra time, so we're extending it till today only. Uh, I'll put the link in the description, but basically you get to save $200 on our annual and $1,000 on our lifetime. So let's talk about uh, what's been happening in the market lately. So if you've been living under a rock, uh, there's something called the coronavirus that's been happening. And shit, I don't know if I have a corona in here. I do, but... <laughs> the point is, is that this is kind of a sector play. So for those that don't know what a sector play is, or if you're new to trading, or uh, this is kind of like your first year into it, a sector play is when a specific sector, call it marijuana, call it police cameras, call it Ebola, or coronavirus, or shipping, uh, they all move together. There's maybe a major headline in the news. There's maybe uh, everyone's talking about it. Uh, back then, it was the shipping sector that was kind of going crazy. There was the police cameras on um, uh, officers because of the mass shootings. All those stocks went crazy. When Ebola kind of first came out, Lake and APT went crazy. These are sector moves. So until the hype or until the news kind of dies down, these are going to be in play. So what does that mean for us? That means that you're going to get astronomical, abnormal, insane moves like NNVC usually every day. You're gonna get a stock that goes from you know $3 up to $13 in a few days because people think that this company has the cure or this company's gonna change everything or this and that. Who knows, right? Who knows? All we know is that right now there's way too much hype around the sector. So you get stocks like Dries that went, um, oh, let me show you, that did a massive like parabolic move, you know what I'm saying? You have stocks like uh, Lake that, Back when Ebola was the craziest thing, this shit went from you know six to thirty bucks and then came back to reality. So there's massive opportunities on the long side and the short side for these stocks. So let me kind of run you through what my mentality is or what I'm gonna do while also like simultaneously explaining uh, how to kind of make money from these plays. So maybe for some good luck, I should open up this Corona. Cheers. All right, so let's start from the very beginning, right? What I wanna do every single, wow, that's so refreshing. What I wanna do every single morning is look at the stocks that people forgot about. I wanna pay attention to the stocks that no one is paying attention to. And CEI is one of those that fits my criteria. It was a massive stock that ran um, on Friday, gave back the entire move. So in the morning, I'm looking to short a push towards 220, which also lines up with uh, the previous days of UAP. So I know that there's two tiers of resistance over here. So that's kind of the level I'm looking for on that in the morning. Uh, LLIT, oh, I had a fancy order that filled. <laughs> Let me sell this real quick. Um, shit, they only filled me 340. Let me sell this real quick on the ask. Got it, okay, that's funny. That's why I always have fantasy orders out. Um, the reason why I took that trade is because it's the first test of VWAP, so that's kind of usually like a really good bounce zone. Anyway, so I was thinking I was trying to fill like a couple thousand or maybe a starter, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, so what I'm looking for on a stock like this is again, because this is SSR, because this is a low flow, I cannot be shorting with size. So I try to go in long instead. And here, now my mentality is being fixed. I'm focusing on taking advantage of the plays in front of me. So in the morning, I'm not really that interested in even shorting this two line as if a chat room pumps this, it could go to the moon. So what I'll be looking for is trying to go long on the dips. Uh, if it come, comes back down towards this 170 or 150 level, try to go long down there. But essentially, I want this thing to go to three, four, five. Uh, I want this to kind of get a bunch of attention and then I'll take it from there. I don't want to be early here. Codex, uh, I like this setup. Um, what I see on the daily chart is a resistance around 280 and the hole number three is automatic resistance. So in the morning, I'll be looking for a push towards 280, 290, and $3 with 30% size. 
that means that I'm only using 30% of my size above VWAP. And then when it confirms under, I could size in. This is something that I really like for the day. LLIT is going fucking higher. Um, NNVC. So this is the head of the snake. This is the lake. This is the dries. This is the APT. This is everything and everything that everyone is looking at. Uh, I did not locate this on purpose as I feel like uh, it's going to be too dangerous to play. I feel like it's going to be too, uh, it's, it's going to be something that's going to catch me off guard. And I don't want to be stressed when I'm trading. I want to make the most amount of money with the least amount of stress. So in the morning, I see a support level around 11 bucks. So maybe if it gets down to 11 or 1050, I'll try to go long. But there's no way in hell I'm shorting this thing. Not yet, at least. I need it to confirm. I need it to go red first, and then I'm going to attack. Lake and APT, uh, these are the former Ebola stocks that are kind of going up. Um, in sympathy to these things. So I'm just gonna have it on watch. Uh, also, I am what I do at the end of the videos is I like to leave a secret word at the end of it so that I know that you guys are watching till the end. Today's secret word is gonna be Corona. So if you guys like these videos, or if you're not an MIC, uh, be sure to reach out to us, comment, let us know, and uh, we'll try to get back to you. Thanks and good luck today, everyone.